It's transfer deadline day, and we've made a transfer. It's not transfer deadline day in game, fact. I've completely confused everything, but it's transfer deadline day in real life, even though it's not now because it's the 1st of February, even though it's the 31st of January in my world. I just like making intros up these days because I've got absolutely nothing to talk about. So, two games today against teams I can't even think who they are. You know, like Reading and someone else who don't even matter. I'm really sorry if you're a fan of the second team, but... All jokes aside and all yapping aside, just roll the intro. That's what everyone's here to see, isn't it? Goes Pompey, 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 you're the team. Pompey, 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 you're the green. Pompey, you're the greatest, and we'll keep following you. Yeah, we'll keep following Pompey, following the boys in blue. Hello everyone and welcome to Season 2, Episode 6 of the Portsmouth Sound Foot Match 2018. Today it's time for games against Reading and Bristol City, two teams that are quite low in the table, 21st and 20th respectively. But of course that could change a lot um, in the next few uh, days and weeks. As you can see, Nottingham Forest being left behind at the bottom of the table, so much so that they're at the bottom of the table. They sat the manager, Rossler, they actually approached me, but I said, you know, I'm going to stay at Portsmouth and see what we can do here. The last few games, then, since your last week, uh, since your last week, move won two of them and lost one. Uh, we beat Birmingham and Millwall the same scoreline two 0 each. Uh, Macklin and Armstrong, uh, May and Chaplin getting goals there, and then we did get a late consolation goal against Barnsley, but they did beat us away from home two on. So as you can see, um, away games are the real issue. We haven't won an away game, or ironically, since that game against Man City in the Carrier Cups. Hopefully, our fortunes can change today against Reading, and then a home game, uh, a home game against Bristol. Uh, in the next few days after an international break. Now, we did get Aaron Lennon, who you guys might have predicted last episode, on a trial last episode, um, and he's actually signed permanently, so that's the signing that we're going to make, basically. Uh, but he didn't play too well in this first game, admittedly, um, which was a bit of a shame, but, you know, these sort of things happen. Um, but we are going to get him into the team nice and slowly. I just thought, you know, it's, it's more depth in the uh, attacking places, and I thought, you know, why not? It really... You know, it doesn't hurt, does it, whatsoever. Um, just change the team around a little bit, considering it's been the international break um, and things have changed. Put Myler in place of Adam May. And I think that should be okay. So, all stops in goal. Um, actually, we'll put McGee in goal for today. Um, Donald Love at the back with uh, Clark, Watmore and McCrory alongside him. Myler and Brown is central midfield. And then Low Bennett, um, Long and McLinden are the players playing in the attacking mid positions and up front. Oh, dear. Well, it's not been my day so far, I'll tell you that. I have a lovely drink of my vanilla latte, which... It, it must have been a bad day for me to have a latte, honestly. It, it's not been great, but uh, have, another, have another sip. I quite like this latte. It's vanilla, not amaretto and vanilla. God, no, I'll never have any of that. But, uh, yeah, so the start of my day was alright, and then we got to about 6 o'clock. I thought, I need to go on a run, and I just recorded my Ashes video. And I started waiting for a few minutes, just waiting for it to export out of Elgato, so then I could edit it using Tony Vegas. Um, good goal. For a process that usually takes five minutes, it took half an hour. God knows why it just took half an hour and really took the mick. Um, after that, well, what happened after that, or was it before that? Or was it just really that that's made the pain? I think it was just that, but it just, it just got on me wick a little bit. But you can't really do much about it. Anyway, back to the FM. And it looks like we're doing quite well here. McLinden gets the first goal of the game. Um, against Reading, and can we get a second one in quick succession? Myler, Brown, Lowe, into the box for Long, or oh, on the off the edge of the goal, but Jamal Lowe gets the rebound. And as you can see, um, we are in the playoffs now, and we've just had an unbelievable start. Now, uh, I shouldn't say this now, an unbelievable start, because we're about 16 or 17 games into the season, so it's not anything to look um, badly upon, it's not just a bad start anymore, you know, we're nearly halfway into this season, so... If we can keep up this form, it'd be absolutely tremendous. So, we're 18 games in now, so roughly um, 18 out of 44, what's that? Roughly about 40% in, which is crazy to think already. Um, but we are the top scorers in the league by an absolute margin. Um, it's just that we can't seem to get the defence quite right. But we did have two clean sheets in those games against Millwall and Birmingham, so they really helped us out. Um, and we only conceded two against Barnsley at the end of the day, so nothing too bad. But we scored another two here against Reading today. Can we get a third? Myler's got the ball to in Brown into Bennett. Shoot, unlucky stuff, just off the post. And in the last game we played against... I think it was the game against Barnsley, you know. We had three disallowed goals, seriously. Um, Armstrong had one disallowed. I think Long did as well. And um, obviously, we, oh dear, Byrne has got one back, Reading. But with those, even two of those three disallowed goals not being disallowed, um, then we would have won the game. I'll just change my... 
my um, webcam a little bit. I feel like I've got a bit of a cold coming in my voice. I, I just said I would charge my webcam and I felt a bit of a cold coming in my voice, but hopefully not. My mum's been quite ill recently, which isn't too pleasant. Um, really bad, bad bear of the flu, um, which isn't too pleasant, but uh, hopefully I don't get that or else you're not going to be seeing videos from me for a while. Um, and that's probably one of the benefits of recording in in uh, bulk, but, you know, that's not my way of doing things. But there we go. Anyway, Beeran's back to Bond, a peculiar way of, of trying to uh, set up an attack, but it's clearly working. Swift to Bod Varson, to Kelly, into Swift, shoots, and, oh, it's just off the post. They very nearly equalised then, after we went 2-0 up early on, and it feels like that might well happen again now. Kelly, Fuentes, Popper on the edge of the box, into the box for a Bod Varson. Kelly again. Shoots. Is that Stephen Kelly? The one that obviously we had last season. Uh, no, it's Liam Kelly. Stephen Kelly was at um, Reading at one time, wasn't he? I'm sure he was. I remember him being at Reading one time. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just having a look at the Premier League results. 3-0 Bournemouth against Chelsea. Jesus Christ. <sighs> e -e -e -e. Oh, so where does that put uh, Chelsea then? Only a point above Liverpool. And because United are losing, I'll tell you what. That'll do for us. And Arsenal lost the other day um, against Swansea. So we won against Port uh, Huddersfield. And it feels like um, our fight might be a bit decent for once. And maybe um, a, a City are only one to look against West Brom. Come on, West Brom. Score two. I bet this is all in the past for you guys. And you're all thinking, oh, shut up. We all know the results. Um, but anyway, Brown into Lovell. It's gonna, I feel like Reading might actually win this game. Because on balance, um, they've had more chances, I think, on camera. More Fuentes. Long gets it back. Bit of a silly pass from Moore, but there we go. Myler. McAlinden. Bennett on the edge of the box. Puts it in. Cuts inside. Shoots. And that's a goal. That's impressive from Kyle Bennett. Um, I'd have expected him to pass it into McAlinden and him to have a shot. But it looked like that um, Kyle Bennett had a chip. And it went to the back of the net. So let's have a look how it happened then, shall we? Lick, lick, lick and McAlinden. I've made that for the second time this season. Swung the ball out to Bennett. And that's like a little chip. Um, it wasn't quite a chip, but it was almost a little bit like half and half. And he gets the goal. And I'm not complaining at that whatsoever. I just cannot believe um, Bournemouth are beating Chelsea 3-0. And Newcastle are beating Burnley. More than that, though. Uh, Middlesbrough beating Brentford 6-1 in game. Not to be confused with anything else. Uh, but Norwich are the new leaders of the league. I don't think they've led the league at all this season. And it's quite surprising that none of the teams that came down this season, obviously Crystal Palace, um, Southampton and somebody else, Huddersfield, they're all, you know, in the top ten, and sorry, top half, um, but they're not doing magnificently to say the least, and that's a real shock. Um, but it's something I'm definitely not complaining about, it makes our job easy to go up in theory. And as I said, something I'm not really complaining about. We'll make a trip substitution, um, take McAlinden off, give him a bit of a rest. For the game, because obviously we've got Bristol City in the next few game, uh, next few days, so we're going to have to rotate quite a fair bit. Fell out of the playoffs though for the moment, which is a bit disappointing because Millwall um, are winning or Sheffield United are winning. I can't quite remember who who wasn't there before, but a lovely ball from Thompson doesn't quite make it to Armstrong. It's his first appearance for Thompson actually since he's been out with an injury. But Long heads it into the back of the net, and we're really dominating against Reading here. Four one. Um, the two strikers combining once again. Um, to make it 4-1 to the Pompey, because, as you guys now should be able to do yourself, Pompey, 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 Pompey or the team, Pompey, 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 Pompey or the cream, Pompey or the greatest, and we'll keep following you, yeah, Pompey, you're, hold on, we'll keep following Pompey, following the boys in blue, boom, boom, I quite like that intro, very good, but uh, we just beat Reading 4-1, that will do, away from home, where we've really struggled. Hopefully, though, um, we can beat Bristol at home as well. Bristol have won today, so um, that'll make things interesting for that game. Um, but we'll have a look. We'll just uh, have a look into here, and then we will go into the Bristol game. Carl Bennett getting out of the match. Bennett inspiring the win. And you've shown little little let up and uh, leaving notions of relegation at distant memory. Where can we go from here? Well, if we beat Bristol... We might go somewhere, but if we don't, it's going to be... No, it's not going to be disastrous, but come on. Let's keep the form going and beat Bristol City at Fratton Park. Just wanted to show you something, folks, about what um, looks really good for us, to be fair. Um, we've seen a 29% in de decrease in injuries so far this season compared to what we see on angry, uh, average, average. And is reinforced by a position of last in the injury table. Um, and the current training workload, which is either average or high, we're on, um, is likely to lead to a lower than normal... Um, level of injuries, which is really good. Um, and really, if we keep all our players fit, 
Um, logically, oh, I didn't realise I had a Kanye's there for seven weeks. Forgot to tell you that one, folks. Um, but apart from that, everyone else is still in. So, for this game against Bristol, who are we going to pick? Um, I think we pretty much came with the same team. Um, we're going to... Hmm, I think we'll keep Donald Love in the side because he's played really well recently. Um, and we'll bring in Armstrong for Chris Long um, and play him as advance forward. Anyone else to bring on? Um, I'm not so confident about bringing um, Landl back yet, but we will replace maybe Matt Clark with Burgess. But apart from that, we don't want to make too many changes. Let's just get straight into the game. Um, I don't think making too many changes is too brilliant, um, but there we go. Is Mourinho the problem? It says on BBC. You know, I'm, I don't know why I'm focusing on the BBC. I'm just very interested about... Uh, a really good day for Liverpool, to be honest. In you know, in real life, you know, United have lost, um, theoretically at the moment. Chelsea are losing at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're losing, and that's really good for Liverpool. Anyway, Bennett, Brown, Armstrong. That's not too shabby whatsoever. That is certainly not too shabby. Eight minutes in, Armstrong. Come on, Armstrong. This should be good. Um, he's started to play a little bit better recently. Um, obviously, he played really badly at the start of the season because he had that really good spell at the start of League One when he was with us, and then after that, it went a bit downhill because he just couldn't adapt to the championship, a bit like Hugo Scapelhorn in my Hensford save a few weeks back. Um, incredible to say, really, that Hensford save ended quite a while ago now. Um, I knew it would happen. I knew this, I knew this would happen, to be honest. Um, Bristol seemed to be a bit of a bogey team, to be honest. No excuse, like, but, you know, ah, well. We've had the most shots, but these sorts of things sometimes happen against teams. Can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, just leave your thoughts there in the comments. Obviously, this has been going daily now for um, a week or so this series, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, if you've got any ideas for other series, you know, please let me know um, so I can have a bit, a bit more variation. Um, because, obviously, if there are people that aren't much of a fan of this series, then it really uh, excludes them from watching anything. But... I'm really enjoying this. We're playing well at the end of the day. Um, and I think it's something that you guys are enjoying as well. You know, the views are decent uh, in accordance with the Ashes series as well. And I am really enjoying YouTube life at the moment. You know, it's brilliant to see um, because the subscriber count's going up. We're on about 398. Um, and I think this sort of gamble to do FM content is really working now. Um, and that's really good to see. And I'm really enjoying the FM content. I can't really express it enough. Um... I was discussing with this with a friend actually before this video, and I was just saying, you know, how YouTube is it's a big commitment um, for us content creators because it probably takes up around an hour and a half of my day every single day, but um, it's worth it. It's very much worth it for the nice comments I get off you guys, uh, particularly Sarah, as you seem to comment on every video, and I really appreciate that. Uh, but also from a few of the other guys, uh, JCR, the likes of you, King as well. Um, Rivlord, I know, watches some of the videos as well, um, and Captain Goodspeed, and a few other of you, you guys know who you are, um, and I, I always intend to um, comment, um, replies if you like, on every single comment, because if you guys took the time to comment, then I feel I should probably take the time um, to give a comment back, if you like, um, and that's what I try to do as much as possible, so I hope you guys appreciate that, um, but, you know, it, it's not, this is really... Um, about you guys, really. It's not about me. It, it's quite a funny one because, well, it is. It is odd, isn't it? Really, because um, I make this maybe for enjoyment for myself. But unless you guys are actually watching, then it doesn't really make any notable difference. Because if no one's watching, then what's the point? Do you see what I'm saying? But I, I, I just really enjoy all this. Um, you know, playing a game that I really love. Um, admittedly, and I think the most. FM content creators would admit, admit this that I haven't got it as a full-time job. If the opportunity came around to do it as a full-time job, I would definitely do this as a full-time job. It's not going to happen, um, probably. Well, very likely not to happen. But if it did happen, I would absolutely love it. Because at the end of the day, um, it, I wouldn't say it's my dream, but at the same token, it would be a very good um, prospect and something I would massively enjoy. So... Every like, every subscription, every you know, every everything you guys do is genuinely really appreciated. And after a bit of a, a love share, I suppose we're going to get back into the game. What an appropriate time to get back into it. Maka Linden gets the uh, equaliser with ten minutes to go, and we can now just maybe go for the win. Come on, let's go for it. Low put it into Maka Linden. It was a goal. 
Um, we are going to change T -T -T Lennon for Bennett, and he can play as a raw. I don't even want to pronounce that. Um, but come on, let's go for this win. I think that's going to be a real good one for us because if we win, we move it to fifth, which is the highest we've been for quite a while. But I don't think it's going to happen now. Um, go route one. I don't really know what else we can do. Three minutes to go. I think that's going to be it. But four points out of today's episode. I don't think we're going to complain with that at all. Um, but that's decent, you know. Obviously, Bristol aren't doing too badly. You know, it's really close um, between us and, you know, Bristol, really. And maybe even Barnsley, you could say. Don't score now. Surely you can just call full-time. That is full-time. That's a draw. That's good. Um, but it's really close between us and the likes of Brentford, who are about 10 positions below us, because, you know, there's only seven points. And at this point in the season, it is really, really close. And it's really exciting now. 19 games in, um, and that is really stuff. Kenny Jackett's been spotted um, scouting Joe, Joe Bryan, who's a big fan of. That's interesting. Uh, but in the next episode, I think we will play against... I think we'll play against um, Middlesbrough and Fleetwood. I think that sounds like a good one to do. Um, and then we will play the unknown FA Cup third round game. And I think the Villa game. Because why not? But that could all change, of course. But who knows? Because if you have it, they're, they're, they're completely ruined that, haven't I? So if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment as well if you've got anything to say about the video. And also subscribe if you haven't done already for daily FM18 content. With a bit of Ashes cricket. And who knows what else will come in the future. I'm really looking to do some variants on this channel of content. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Anyway, I've been TIJ. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another rendition of the Pompey intro and another 20 minutes of FM. Thank you for your support so far, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.